All right, Bob coming back at you again. So today, what we're gonna do is an oil change on a F15 BMW X5, the N55 six cylinder engine. So if this is something you wanna do, stay tuned. Here we go. So there are a few parts you're gonna need to do this job. One is a special oil filter wrench. Here's the part number of the one I got. I believe it's an 89 millimeter 88, 89, something like that. So this is uh, a specific part. Um, you most, most auto parts stores have these. Uh, cost you about eight bucks. You need a 17 millimeter a socket, of course. Um, not necessarily, but uh, how very helpful in changing the O-ring on the oil filter is a little pick like this. And that's all we're gonna need. Of course, your uh, oil drip pan and seven quarts of oil and a new filter also. And those are right here. So this is a man filter, HU816X. This is the filter I like to use. Uh, in many cases, this is an OEM filter for, for lots of folks. So the last bit I'm not gonna discuss, and that is, well, which oil should I use, Bob? Look in your manual. Basically, it's gonna be a 020, 030, 040, um, or a 530, 540. Uh, you wanna stick to what it says in your manual. You wanna use a BMW approved oil. I'm not going to get into all the craziness about all the different kinds of oils that you could possibly use. A good quality synthetic that meets BMW standards will do just fine. First, what you're looking at here is the lower belly pan down here. Um, you can probably squeeze by doing this without jacking the car up. I recommend not. So this is the jacking point right there. Always, always, always use additional jacks and wheel chocks. So always do that because uh, it's your life, your safety. So this is our drain plug right here. It's a 17 millimeter again. And I like to loosen it. And once it's got that first part off, you can usually manipulate the rest with your fingers. And so I get my pan nearby in case I start dribbling and dripping and drooling and you know, all that other stuff. So, oh boy, that's tight here trying to film and do this at the same time. So here we go. And you'll feel when you're at the end and just make a quick motion down and there we go. So while the oil is draining, we're going to go up and change the filter. So when I'm doing the top filter, even though this is easy, I like to... Just fill the area with some rags and get things kind of have some rags ready because it can be messy. Doesn't have to be, but it can be. All right. So as you see, that special oil filter adapter fits on perfect. And as you get close to getting it off, you may get a little dribble. Uh, hopefully not. So. All right, so I'm just going to let it drip off for a moment. And I must carefully flip this mug around. And there we go. So I used to have a chicken baster and I would get this additional oil that you see right there out. Uh, today I'm probably just going to take a rag um, and try to soak up as much as that as possible. Don't know why BMW made it like that, but that's about a, you know, maybe a hundred milliliters or so that just kind of sit there. They don't really drain off. So uh, like I say, I used to take a turkey baster and just suck it out and get rid of it. So you'll notice in the new box when you open it, you have a gasket, a copper gasket, a little green gasket, and this gasket. Uh, for some reason I got two. <laughs> How about that? So, in any case, we're going to go ahead and replace the little rubber seals. This one right here specifically, and this one down here. The way I'm going to do this is with a little pick tool. You just come in here, and look how easy that is. It just pulls right out. 
And then this one, whoa, my hands uh, are not so quite so oily. I can maybe get this one too. And so we get in there, get it a good plug, and out it goes. There it is. All right, so once you have the new seals on, you want to go ahead and kind of lube them up. My hands are oily, so I'm just going to kind of get them nice and shiny. And then we basically put our new oil filter on. And you're going to feel it snap in place, kind of. There we go. That's as far as it'll go. And this can go back in. I'm going to wait till the oil is completely drained out, and then let's put it back in. All right, so we're going to place it back in there. And as far as tightening goes, you basically, there you go, you basically go as far as you can without being Brutus. You just basically keep going. Until you get to that point. I've reached a stop, so give it a little nudge, and that's it. That's as far as you need to go. And when you pull it off, you're gonna to need to clean it up a little bit. And let's do, let's do that right now. And when you look at the edge here, let me bring you down to the edge here. You'll see right here, you're nice and flush. And that's exactly what you want. And there we go, that's the top part. Let's go back down and see if the oil's drained and put the plug back in. All right, so I like to go ahead and put the first few threads in by hand. And tighten it snug by hand. Then I will tighten it, take a little rag, clean it up a little bit, and we are done. Almost. So your N55 takes seven quarts of oil with a filter change. And so you want to read your manual and use an approved BMW oil, 030, 040, whichever, whichever fits your fancy. And I don't want this to be an oil discussion, so. So seven quarts go in. Boom, 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 boom. So I hope this video helped you uh, do your oil change on your BMW F15X5. If it did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you soon. Take care.